down ballot this last Thursday. And I was grabbed by the people who won it. So when I found out this was going on, I thought I would come here. The gentleman before me um, gave you a lot of the facts that I unearthed while investigating this. So I want to thank you for having me here tonight. And I want you to know that although Representative McCosey and I sit on opposite sides of the aisle, it's with great dignity that we agree to disagree, and we do that a lot. Okay, so before I speak, I'm going to request that you hold your cheering, or if there is some cheering, to the end of the program. I wanted to start out by explaining what an RACP grant is. They pretty much told us this, but it's... It's a project that's eligible only if it's been itemized in an act passed by the General Assembly, which they said. Now, I don't know what happened in the last 11 months. Looking out here, I can kind of see why the representative, and you did vote for it, along with my husband, and I can understand why now he has a different view of it. Okay, the Governor Rendell did sign it. They had asked up to $5 million. They ended up giving them $4 million. And nobody has gotten it yet. Speak up a little bit. Sure, I'm sorry. An RACP project has to generate substantial increases in employment, tax revenue, or other measures of economic activity. The recipient has to address their match amount of the funding along with specifications, project plans, budget, and detailed sources of funding. In other words, a, de a developer can't just come in like years ago and build something. Okay? They have to have precise and specific guidelines. They are reviewed and re-reviewed. And the state actually gets a consultant from the Office of the Budget to review everything. Okay? It has to have, it has to generate substantial increases in employment and tax revenue or other measures of economic activity. The recipient has to address their match amount of the funding and it has to give specifications, project plans, budget, and detailed sources of their funding. The four million doesn't just go to them. It goes to them gradually as they're doing things to get this project on the road. So a developer has to use his own money up front before the grant can be touched. And it's my understanding that this development's gonna cost between 35 and 45 million. It's on the shoulders of the developer to secure plans, to secure zoning, to secure permits, to go to SEPTED, not SEPTED, to go to PennDOT, to go to the DPA, the EPA. They can't just do what they want to do. If there's going to be runoff, they have to deal with that. If they need sewers, they have to deal with that. But I think it's important that we realize that economic growth is a key factor here, especially in Darby Barrow. You know, it's great to have open space. I'm a green person, I love open space. But it costs money to maintain it. There's no funding right now for parks. Corbett has cut that. And I don't know who's gonna pay for it. It's in my district. And I don't know if you will wanna chip in to pay for it in my district. Uh, you know, I'm looking that this construction will bring 350 jobs to, to the surrounding area. It's supposed to generate upwards to $600,000 in revenue for the uh, school district, William Penn School District. And there's another, I want to address one other issue, and this happened to me. I live in South Philadelphia. We have stadiums in South Philadelphia. I'm sure all of these come down. You see the Phillies, you see the Sixers, you see the Eagles. We have a lot of traffic down there because of that. You're not going to have that with this. A few years ago, they wanted to put a little shopping center where I live, three blocks away. And I was like, you, are you crazy? We're going to have all this traffic. We're going to have people walking through our neighborhood. We're going to have this, that, the other thing. Guess what? They built it. Negligible traffic. Everybody in the neighborhood has a BJ card. Everybody goes to the uh, Walgreens. We all go to Chili's to eat. They go to Planet Fitness, it's a lot bigger than what this area is going to be. Well, yeah, but wait a second, a lot of people I understand from up in Dark will come down to my beaches, it's fine. Okay. You know, we have to remember too, it's private property. And these nuns can sell it to whoever they want. And we're hoping to have some kind of control over where they sell it to. 
you know, and I just want to say, why not give it a chance and see what the plans look like? You might end up enjoying it the way we did in my neighborhood. I mean, there's plans not even done yet. When they share the plans, everybody might hate it, even me, and say, hey, halt, we're not going to do this. But I think we need to kind of have a little bit of an open mind here. You know, I'm not trying to dictate to you what's good or what's bad for you. I'm only here because people in my district came running to me. Hey, can you go to this meeting and find out what's happening? And Representative McCoy was kind enough to 